We're seeing several interesting use cases. One of them is for smart meters, where the utility companies want to be able to transmit data in batches at certain times a day for groups of smart meters. And that requires uh, more sophisticated policy management capability in terms of the time of day and, and the, as well as uh, device data management capability to assign certain batches to send data at certain times of day. Another interesting use case and one many people may be familiar with is the e-readers where you, you would pay a connectivity fee uh, and you would infrequently download certain e-books. So you wouldn't necessarily pay by how much bandwidth you're using, but rather you'd pay a connection fee and then you'd pay per download. So that's another uh, interesting use case. The, the third interesting use case is, for example, with the smart car, where you can implement performance analytics and start measuring how people are using different smart car applications, how much data is being transmitted in those uh, different applications, what the usage patterns are, and use that intelligence and those analytics to evolve the smart car service or to market those services in different ways to different customers. And the last use case that we're seeing relates to security. So in many cases, you may have devices in remote locations or, or devices such as traffic cameras, and uh, suddenly you're finding erratic behavior of those devices. Either they're transmitting unusual amounts of data, or they seem to be in the wrong location. So you want to be able to send alerts or send a location update and maybe disable SIM cards and certain types of devices because you suspect that they may be stolen or they may be malfunctioning.